Well, welcome back. Um, this is a, a two-part uh, video. This is uh, part one, and part two is going to be released tomorrow. This is me cutting some uh, some uh, metal <laughs> to make winglets for the back of the airplane. So this is kind of like a build. Tomorrow will be the completion. Stay tuned. Watch to the very end. Thank you very much. See you again in the hangar and in the air. Well, wasn't that an interesting intro? Me cutting sheet metal. Actually, it's aluminum, and it's a, it's a fairly thick aluminum. It's not quite one millimeter. I, I don't know. I'd have to measure the thickness on this. Uh, but for that first flight that you saw last weekend, uh, where I was all over the place, and it's because of this rudder. It's not big enough. When you have doors on, and floats, it's not big enough, which is why uh, in the UK, this tail had to be enlarged in order for it to be legal for sale there. I think they were onto something because um, if you watch that video, I was very concerned during that flight. Uh, like what the hell is going on here? Uh, the, the tail was, was just like this, constantly like this, swishing back and forth. And I held the rudders st still and it was one side and then the other. And no matter what I did, this thing was wandering everywhere. Apparently if I take the doors off, it flies better. And if I put wheels on it, it flies even better. Well, it's not getting wheels. I'm going to leave the doors on, maybe. I might, uh, I might just decide to pull them off when, you know, this hot summer. But thank you to Jason at uh, the Cotton Patch. He sent me a, uh, a little picture of the plans for the uh, winglets that came from Quad City that attached, and their dimensions were 16 inch square with bevels on the front side, and they go on like that. Okay. Of course, there's going to be a little bevel cut here, make them look sexy, I guess. Have to do that yet, but this is exactly 16 inch square. So once I cut those, those um, bevel parts out, um, I need to fashion some uh, little saddle washers here and then uh, mount it to the, uh, uh, to the tail. Uh, in the instructions, it says just to use a hot knife and cut at the very bottom a tiny slit so you can get a, uh, uh, the nut in the back side there that's going through here. They, they, sh they specify an AN3-14, AN and I think I have some of those, with a, a nylon locking nut. And um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's, I'm going to be doing that to mount this onto here. And they show two, and I think two should be sufficient because, well, yeah. And uh, they show it being made out of uh, marine, uh, not marine grid, uh, aircraft grade uh, plywood, uh, thin stuff. Um, I don't want to use plywood. Um, now you got to shellac the darn thing, and there's, you know, all the rest of the crap with, uh, with the moisture and everything else. I'm going to keep it aluminum, and this aluminum is uh, more than... Thick enough, I, you know, it's, it's, it will hold. Two very boring minutes later. Um, what color am I going to paint this? Red. Of course, red. Bright red. As a matter of fact, I am going to be getting a hold of Quad City. And I'm going to order the UK tail, which makes it much larger. And guess what color the tail's going to be? Yeah, you only get one guess. And if you said red, you got it right. <laughs> so, yeah, um, the tail is, I'm going to be replacing the tail as well with the larger UK tail and with these. Um, a number of people on the, on the Facebook group, uh, thank you very much for all those uh, who follow along here and, and also uh, on the Facebook group. Uh, a number of them that fly this airplane with, uh, with the doors on and, and, and so on, uh, they, they all said the same thing. Um, with the doors on, it's tough very tough to handle with doors and floats. Uh, a few other people in, on another forum were, were saying that it's damn near impossible to uh, handle, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, hazardous without at least the winglets. They said with the winglets, it's manageable. If you go with the winglets and the UK tail, 
He says, now you've addressed everything. He says, uh, it'll be a much more stable. I won't get that fish tailing on the tail uh, with, uh, with these uh, winglets. And um, so that is, that is what I'm building today. So thank you very much for following along, everyone. And uh, remember to like and subscribe, please. Uh, I'd like to hit 1,000 subscribers before the end of the summer. Um, and uh, so this is going to be a little bit of a build video, not much. Uh, I got to wait for parts to come in. So I'm going to record some of it today and some of it when the other parts come in. 20 minutes later. Titter patter. Let's get at her. Since these are 16 inches wide, and the center line is obviously 8 inches in. Funny how that works out. Now, they, um, they show these bevels on there. They, the plans, I should grab those. Where did I put them? Oh, they're in here somewhere. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Maybe they're still in my bag that I brought from home. Oh, yes, it is. There it is. Again, thanks, on, th thanks to Jason. Now, they show this picture here where the, the bevel cuts. Um, it appears to me that they're only taking about three inches down, maybe two inches back. Anyways, I'll, it's, it's, not, it's not critical. It's not, you know, each one's going to be a little different. So, yeah, mine may differ from yours, which is okay. Then we can compare notes. Okay, so where do I want to mount or drill my two holes? Well, there's at the trailing edge of this piece here, there's a strapping with some rivets you can see underneath the cloth. So I need to be forward of that. Then there's the curve of the tube. I don't want to mount it on the curve. I want it where it's flat. So if I lay this up here, and just kind of spot where that is. I'm going to put my rear right here. Mark that. And there's a nice flat section right here at the front. Mark that. There we go. The two marks. That's where one and that's where the other. Now I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to check whether or not they were built the same and whether that matches up. So I'm just going to leave this recording, pick up the camera and let's see if I can do this without making too much noise. Okay, there we go. So same thing. Oh, I see the same brackets here. Will this work? Yes. Okay, so both of these pieces are going to be identical. Holes drilled in exactly the same places. So it doesn't matter whether one goes on the left or the right. They're going to be exactly the same. So. Alrighty. Well, here we are. It's painted on one side now. It's got primer coat on both sides. The other side, the primer coat is still a little well, damp, but it's okay. Uh, it's ready for paint on this side. I put one coat of paint here um, and it ran out of paint, but that's okay. I'm gonna let this dry. Uh, when I come back, I need to get another can of, this is um, K2 
case you're wondering, it's apple red. And it's a uh, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch. Quick drying, apple red. So that's it for now. That's it for the update. Thank you all for uh, following along. And um, uh, I'm gonna finish the painting and, uh, and when I mount these, I will record uh, some more video on that. So um, if this is the outro, great. Thanks for following and uh, keep your stick on the ice. If not, uh, you'll see me with another shirt and uh, more painting in, uh, for me, a couple of days for you in a few seconds. So either way, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Bye for now.